This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the new plate configuration that I have. It's called the N16, N as in Nancy 1.6. It's basically the Aaron cell that I've put together before. The Aaron cell has reversible plates here, so you can make them alternate. So every other plate is positive and every other plate is negative. Or you can make any of these plates become the same, such as you could have two plates that are positive or three plates that are positive, and the way you do that is simply just take the plate out and reverse it. So now two are the same direction. So you can have two positive plates or two negative plates or three or as many as you want. The other thing on the Aaron cell, which is still standard, is that all the plates are connected through with the electrode on one side and two electrodes on the other side, one going this direction and one coming around this direction. The reason for that is you can turn off one side. Now here is the next stage in the Aaron cell, the N16. This brings us up one more level. I've had a lot of people asking about the neutral plate system, which I don't particularly believe in, but since I design systems for people to experiment with, I decided it was time to do that. So we're evolving the Aaron cell. And I'm going to take this plate off and show you what it looks like, and I'll give you a second to realize what I've done here, for good or bad. And we'll put that down here. Maybe you can get an idea, those of us who are smarter than others. This is the top of the plate. This is the bottom of the plate. As you can see, you can flip this over to get your negative and positives together. And the new addition is you can flip the plate over this way now to get your neutral plate. So all the people who want to be able to fool with the neutral plate system now you can do that with the iron cell very easy and the way you do that is you just flip the plate over so right now all these plates are alternate and what I'm going to do is take this part this is the way it normally would be and I've got them set so they're positive on one side here negative on the other which is alternately positive and negative now I'm going to do is flip the plate back upside down and as you can see it's pretty simple there's two notches on the top of the bottom of this plate now when I put this in here like so put our system back together again what I've succeeded in doing is having a neutral plate. The electrodes do not hit that second plate now. And which makes this really nice is you can have as many neutral plates as you want. All you do is take the cell apart, flip over the plate that you want neutral, like that. Let's have two neutral plates here. Just flip it over. Like that. So I get to put our spacers in here. And there's your neutral plate up. So now I've got how many? Got two neutral plates. Next one in with a spacer. Another two spacers here in this direction, and we're at the end. And you can see how that works. There's our neutral plates. So basically, what I've done.
here's our plate for those of you who want to design one for yourself. This is the way it normally goes, like this. So that when you put the two plates together, as you can see, the electro goes through it, goes through one to the next. And if you flip it over, you'll see the same thing on this side, right? Or you can flip the plate this way, and now you can have two going the same direction. So now you can have two of the same positive or negatives. And now what I've done is you can turn the plate completely over. And now, as you can see, the electro doesn't hit either side. So there's your neutral. I think this is going to solve a lot of problems for people. A lot of people who've been wanting to play with that now, hopefully, you'll think this is a good idea. You can go to my site, hydrogentap.com, and see the system and see the plates. So there's the basic design. It's called the Aaron Cell N, as in Nancy, 1616. The N16 for neutral plates. The reason there are 16 plates in here instead of 15 is because since there is one extra notch or two extra notches on these plates, you are losing some area. The, the question is whether losing that much area on each plate really matters that much. And I take it to you that it really doesn't, that the air itself puts out so much hydrogen as it is, I don't think you're going to miss what's missing on the bottom. If that is the problem, then of course the answer is not to get it with that addition. The N16 is only for those who want to experiment with what's out there my personal opinion for what it's worth is it's worth the loss on the plates. The extra plate more than enough makes up for the difference. The normal Aaron cell comes with 15 plates. This one comes with 16. When you go to the hydrogentap.com, the cell is by itself. It isn't in any tube. That's so you can put it in anything you want. So again, this is the Aaron Cell N16. It'll be up on the site if you want to check it out. I think it's a pretty good idea. I'm always open for people who agree with me. I get plenty of people who don't agree. That's fine. Just keep it civil if you don't mind. The One of the things that's interesting on this is that it's really easy to experiment with. But I do want to warn you about something, and that is since these are actually tap holes all the way through, when you take this apart, you have to be very, very careful that when you put it back together, that each one of these plates stays close to where it's supposed to be. In other words, like I'm doing it on a table right now and it's going through real easy. If suddenly one of these plates were to come out a little bit too far, you're going to notice this this electrode does not go in easy. So since they're all tapped, it's got to go in just right. So when you pull these electrodes out, you're going to have to remember putting it back in is not going to be that easy. Uh, but if you take your time, you'll be able to do it. And the answer is you put it on the table so that they're all lined up and you're very, very careful that when you put it back together again that you don't end up spacing these apart. Anyway, everything's got its downside. That's the only problem when you put a tap screw in. Again, this is the Aaron Cell N16. If you want to email me, you can email me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com. Always glad to hear from you.